What you are looking at here is a holder for large format negatives. And it just so happens that about 8 metres from where I sit, there is a famous Czech uh, large format wet film, yes they still exist, uh, photographer. And uh, he's very kindly said that uh, we can have uh, five of these on loan and we're going to get some eight by four inch uh, negatives. Uh, and each of these can store, if I open that up, there's an aluminium sheet here. And into here you slide the negative uh, and this blocks out all of the light. And actually, you can do another one on the back side. So there's another one. So you can actually have two in one sheet. Now, uh, he seemed a little bit confused as to what I might want it for. Um, uh, because I said uh, I, he was going to give me his uh, hand-built large format camera, which is a beautiful thing that looks like it's come from antiquity, um, that this goes in. And I said, well, actually, that's not really necessary because what we actually want is to uh, see particles that uh, uh, are high energy photons. Um, and we want to be able to see them exposing this uh, negative through what we have here is, a, is the plastic sheet. So this is uh, a piece of, it's almost like fiberglass. Um, but it's, I guess it's only like about a mil thick. Um, but it's not meta metal. Um, I don't think it has metallic in it. Maybe it's got some carbon in there, maybe. That, that might be an issue, I don't know. People might be able to comment on that. Um, so really, what I'm interested in is uh, ideas for what we can, say, put uh, and how far it should be away um, from the uh, negative. Uh, in terms of a, uh, a plate for co-limiting light, uh, uh, photons or gamma rays or x-rays or whatever that might be coming from claimants' reactors uh, so that we can maybe get uh, directionality demonstrated. So uh, this is large enough so that when we are pointing towards a reactor, we might be able to see, you know, an image of where the core is, depending on what we get as a spread. Uh, so we can demonstrate directionality. Um, uh, I don't know, I'm not an expert in these things, so uh, all advice and, and research that you can do on this would help me and help us um, get this right. Uh, also, is there something that we can put in front of this, like maybe indium or something else, that uh, indium foil or something, that we can put in front of this, that if there's neutrons coming out, uh, that would in turn create um, photons that then uh, uh, could be captured on the plate. So essentially, you know, what kind of shield material? Should it be like aluminium or, or uh, steel? Um, should it have holes in it? Um, uh, how thick? Uh, sorry. Uh, how thick should the sheet be, but also um, how uh, what the diameter of the holes should be. I mean, should we look at very small holes or big holes? Um, I don't know, but uh, uh, perhaps we don't want two in each one. Um, maybe we only want one, or maybe want two to see if, if whatever it is coming out uh, has enough energy to go through and expose the backside. Um, so that would be interesting as well through the aluminium sheet. So uh, I don't know. Um, I'm open to all opinions, but uh, we've got this wonderful opportunity. And uh, he says he will develop them for us. That's great in return for just a few of the extra films that come in a packet. So the packets that you purchase are about 100 euros, 110 euros with delivery. Um, uh, for 25 uh, negatives and we're going to have five of these so at most we're going to be using 10 uh, in our experiment um, with uh, Mi 356. Um, maybe another 10 in, in uh, uh, India. Uh, let's see how we get on. Um, but he'll have some, some negatives to use. Um, uh, and uh, let's, let's see if he can be good for that. But uh, any 
opinions, uh, advice would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for your time.